hello everyone so in this video i am going to tell you about the acne so acne so there are four five types of acne five types of acne in which first one is the acne vulgaris which is the most important and most common that is acne vulgaris the second one is acne excoriae acne excoriae which occur due to the excoriation of our skin the third one is the drug induced acne third one is drug induced acne fourth one is the acne con acne conglobeta and the last that is fifth one which is the acne fulminance that is acne fulminance fulminase so basically in the most important one is the acne vulgaris which is the most common also the most common acne is the acne vulgaris and there is one difference between the acne vulgaris and the drug induced so in the acne vulgaris is the polymorphic please remember it that it is a polymorphic while the drug induced acne is the monomorphic form it is the monomorphic form now the what were the causes of the acne so the drug which causes the acne were so here is the pneumonia the drug causing acne so for this we have one pneumonic that is the pimple please remember it p i m p l e so the drug causing acne so the pneumonic is pimple p stands for the phenytoin drug phenytoin drug i stands for isoniazid i stands for isoniazid m stands for methyl cobalamin methyl cobalamin that is the vitamin b12 p stands for progesterone p stands for progesterone l stands for due to lithium and e stands for egfr eg fr inhibitors so these were the drugs which causes the acne so drug causing acne were the pimple so the mnemonic is pimple that is p stands for phenytoin i stands for isoniazid m stands for methyl cobalamin and p stands for progesterone l stands for lithium and e stands for egfr inhibitor so these were the drug causing acne now in the next video i am going to explain the acne vulgaris so that's all for today thank you bye bye guys